Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and I'm showing you a kids learning toy by Learning Resources. It is for ages three and up and it is Talk the Learning Clock. I have a, this thing, I really like robots and he kind of looks like a little robot. Um, this is to help your child learn numbers, learn time. Um, it's an interesting little gadget. Um, the more and more, the, the, as the years go on, we see more people with digital clocks and not analog clocks. I think everybody should still know how to use an analog clock. I think it helps you with your math. Um, I remember when I was little, I was so happy that I could tell time on a real clock. Uh, so this is Talk. Talk has a digital clock on the bottom. Here's his analog clock, and he has a couple of little knobs in the back here. Um, one is your sound. You can make it lower or higher, which some moms will probably really appreciate. And then there is a button that you push to make an alarm. I haven't quite figured out how to get the alarm to go the way I want it to yet, so we'll just show the other features, and you could probably figure it out much better than me. Uh, let's talk to him Music first. time. Music turn time. Turn the clock hands. You want me to just to turn the hands? You can turn. Okay. It's 12.50. <gasps> it's time to get up and move. So you have an activity kind of thing, and you also have a quiz area. Turn the clock hands. Turn the clock hand. Oh, I'm turning it. There we go. It's 1.20. It's time to be very quiet. See, he has lights on the side. Turn the clock hand. And the time that he's changing it to here, it changes on your digital Turn clock, the clock too. Hand. Yes, we're going to do that. Hold on. How about there? It's 3.40. And when you do rock. And when you're done playing, it goes back to the regular time that you already set it in here for what time of day it is. Let's play again real soon. Okay. Now here's a, a little button down on the bottom. Can you find 725? 725. So I have to find 725. I really hope I know how to do an analog clock. See, I told you I was good at that. Well, what time? 10 o'clock? Whoops. Way to go. Yeah. Can you find 210? 210. Oh, there's two. Can I find 210? You got it. Now let's try to do it wrong. Let's play again real soon. Okay, but I want to play this again. I want to do it wrong though. Can you find 12.15? Let's see. How about I can get all the way to the 12. I'm going to say there. Oops. Oops. That's 12.05. Oh, I got it wrong. Can you find 12.15? 12.15. How about there? Uh oh. That's 11.55. I am not getting Can it right. Can you find 12.15? Way to go! Can you find 7? Can you find 5.40? Okay, on his hand here, this turns the little lights on so that you can use it as a night light for your child's room. Can you find 5.40? Turn on and off. 5.40. 5. 40. five. Oh. No, I'm going to be wrong again, okay? Oops. Oops. That's 5.45. Oh, I was so close. Can you find 5.40? How about there? Way to go. Yeah. Can you find 4? All right. Music time. Turn the clock hand. Now, he'll say this over and over again until you do something, and then he'll get tired of you, and then he'll turn just the turn himself hand. off. Um, here are the buttons on here to turn your time on the digital. You can do it this way also, which to me is easier than pressing and pressing and pressing. It's time to get up and move. Okay. Now. Can you talk? 
Okay, you find 920. Now you see it lowered. Can you find 9? So you can go between low and high. Uh, I think it's really cute. The only thing that I see that might prove wrong Can is that nine? I've seen kids try to use rotary telephones and they just get so tired of how many times do I have to turn it to get it to where it's supposed to be? Um, and, and they forget that that's how we used to use telephones. We used to have to go and put our finger in the, the knob and do it. So if your child is impatient, they might not want to do that. But I think it's a good learning tool in the beginning so you can learn your numbers and you can learn your math. You can learn your 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So I like it. Um, the alarm, like I said, the alarm thing I'm having a little issue with what's supposed to happen and I was waiting for it to happen. I could set it, but when it turned to the time for my alarm, it didn't turn on these lights and it's supposed to turn these little lights on so that a child sees that the alarm's gone off, but this means it's still time to stay in bed and this time when it changes color, it means I can get out of bed. So it's a, it's a cute concept. Let's see, do they have anything else that they show on the back here? Let's see. Time to dance, press to play music, light changes to green when it's okay to wake up. Um, question mode, dance mode. I mean, it's cute. So if you're looking for something to teach your child about time, this is a cute little item to start with. I um, I'm a firm believer in the little cardboard or, or wooden um, clocks that they have that you go in and practice your time on. I used to buy those for my old job so that the kids could use them and the moms could work with them on their clocks and stuff. So I think it's cute. It's a nice little idea. Learning resources, ages three and up, and I thought I'd show it to you. And I'll talk to you later.